Hi Erin, today is Wednesday, August 17th, and it's 10.18 at night. I have spent the day today, except for a few short spurts of cleaning, watching a K-drama, which should come as no surprise. It's amazing. It's about a nun in training who cross-dresses to be her twin brother in a boy band. So since I spent the whole day watching a K-drama instead of thinking about what to do for a video, today's vlog is going to be me answering a Facebook meme. I never answer Facebook memes, really, um, so I had to actually go through all my friends' pages and look for something, but I found something and I'm going to answer questions for it. What is your salad dressing of choice? French. What is your favorite sit-down restaurant? I don't like to eat in public. What food could you eat every day for two weeks and not get sick of? Most things that I like. I don't get sick of foods easily. Uh, I will eat the same thing days on end. But things that I would want to, pizza, definitely, uh, with lots of veggies and dead animals on it, and maybe Italian meatloaf. How long would it take me to look up who invented the rubber band? Let's find out. Click. Gum band for those of us from Pittsburgh. Oh, it even Wikipedia even mentions that it's the gum band. It was patented by Stephen Perry in England on March 17th, hey, St. Patrick's Day, of 1845. So we'll just assume that the guy who got the patent is also the guy who invented it. He at least gets the credit. If I could change my name, what would I change it to? Timothy. Timothy Patrick, actually. Would I drink an entire bottle of hot sauce for a hundred dollars? Now, how big a bottle of hot sauce are we talking? Because, like, a, a large bottle of hot sauce, if I tried to drink it all in one go in, like, an actual time limit with nothing, no break, water, actual food in my stomach, I'm pretty sure that I would end up in the hospital. Um, so, no. Last time I had a run-in with the cops. I've only had one run-in with the cops. I've, I'm not sure I've told you this story, but probably, because I tend to tell it to people. Um, my only run-in with the cops was this time that my friend and I kind of broke into our own church. We were at the church for a junior high sleepover, and we weren't allowed to go outside. It was a lock-in. And I think it was, like, the morning time, and my friend and I decided to go outside, even though we weren't supposed to. Not like the biggest breach of rules, but clear, clearly breaking the rules. Um, but we're stupid and forgot that the door locked behind you. And, you know, we were embarrassed that we broke the rules and didn't want to get in trouble. And so we walked around the church, and this was shortly after they'd renovated the basement and put in fire ladders and, like, proper windows that were... So, like, the basement windows were right on ground level. They were the top of the basement walls, but, you know, ground level because the parking lot kind of slopes around. So, we found a window that was open, and there's no one in the room. So, we climbed in and climbed down the fire ladder, and, like, we're kind of really dirty and scraped up. But we were like, this is great. No one will ever know. Except further stupidity um, across the street from us, there was this huge function happening on the soldiers and sailors lawn. Like, a hundred people there having some sort of to-do. I don't, it was like, I don't know if it was a graduation day or a memorial ceremony. Not sure. They saw us, clearly, because we were not very stealthy. We were middle schoolers. And they called the police because people were breaking into the church. And then our junior high leader told the police when they got there to scare us. It was, it, honestly, it was a little terrifying, um, and I feel like we probably learned our lesson. But anyway, yes, I broke into my own church, and the cops yelled at me.